guy is uh, pretty lucky. He was able to spot and uh, complete the cycle of nature. Man, um, living in the uh, ocean for about four to five years, the salmon here has passed the gauntlet of fishermen as they come back to the river to, to spawn. This guy's uh, really spawned out. <laughs> but that's a good sign. I'm sure they'll replenish the, uh, the salmon uh, population. All right, guys, here's my setup. I have a one ounce weight and a swivel and about an eight foot, nine foot leader onto a corky like that. That's how it's set up. That's my setup. And I just let it drift. All right, let's try to get a few casts in here. All right, here we go, guys. All right, when you're drift fishing, you wanna cast out maybe a 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, something like that. Just point your pole towards your line. Just make it nice and um, taut, no slack. And then the last second when it hits, kind of like right around three o'clock, just kind of pop it up so that way it doesn't get around the rock or gets hung up snagged or anything okay and normally the the rule uh, the rule of thumb is um, if there are several people fishing next to you you, you want to have the guy to the right down river cast first that way the lines are in sequence and it, it avoids tangle and that way multiple people can uh, can fish as soon as it finished its drift, I just pop it up out of the uh, the ground or the bottom of the river and then do the same thing. Nobody's here today for, for me to just wait or anything, so I'm just casting right away. I see. See right there? There's a... If you, you saw that right there, there's a uh, salmon that's spawning right in front of me. Can you believe that? That was a little rock. Yeah, they're just like right in front. All right, guys, I'm out here all by myself. It's just, it's, man, this is just really beautiful. I'm glad I went out of the house. I know it was raining forecast for today, but like right now, it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. Just love it. All right, I've been out here for almost, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes or something like that. Just been casting. Just really nice to be out here, out just watching the water. It's just so calming. This is something that everybody has to do. Just whatever it may be, you know, but just get outdoors and, and do, just do it. So much fun. It's a lot of nature, a lot of ducks. Who knows? The other time I had an osprey come by and snag my fish. That was intentional though, I just baited it. Baited it to uh, try to get it out of my little uh, rock pool, and it sure did. But yeah, this is fun. I wasn't even gonna go out today, because it was raining. The forecast was like 60 to 100% rain, but there was a window, like I'm in that window now where it's just gonna suppos supposedly just drizzle and break. There's gonna be a, a break in the the rain. So that's what I'm doing now. Just in the little pocket. It'll probably gonna rain again. But yeah, just being out here. Just so nice. Just never know when you go out here if you catch one or not. Catch one or not, it's still fun.
I guess they're still around, huh? River. Oh, he's gonna run. <sighs> this is right there. Got him right on the tip. Here he is. Come on, baby. It's not bad. All right. Not bad at all. Pretty good size one. See, they get him right on the mouth right there. Right there. All right, beautiful. Still pretty nice. All right, I just, all right. I just bled the fish, so I cut them, um, cut them on the, the gills, air, the gill area. I just like one slit over here. Okay, and then uh, I did it on the other side. And then I wanna try to massage them. I just want to massage the back right here, right here, to make the blood go out. Or at least, you know, get them, get them bled nicely, so we we can get most of that fishy um, taste or the blood taste out of their uh, their their um, flesh. All right, so that's bleeding it. It's a beautiful fish. Nice, nice coho. Alright guys, right there, beautiful, beautiful fish, pretty good, I was just doing a little, uh, little tutorial, <laughs> and we got one, nice.